So hello my friends, Devon Linux here, Photography PX. In today's video, we'll cover the best monopods. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Many photographers often overlook the humble monopod when it comes to stabilization tools, but they're an excellent means to reduce the strain of a heavy camera setup. And they'll do just that while ensuring you also get sharper images. Yet they also undercut traditional tripods in their versatility, since they're usually much more compact, lighter, and have a smaller footprint. Sure, with a single leg alone, they can't offer the same rock steady support of a larger tripod. Even so, you can use these devices in areas and situations where larger tripods are not feasible, say when there isn't enough space or tripods aren't allowed altogether. Not to mention you'll also save a substantial amount of carrying weight in the process, as even the lightest tripods are still somewhat bulky by comparison. Plus, their setup time is near instantaneous, saving precious time capturing a fleeting moment. So gone are the days of missing an opportunity from fiddling with deploying a heavy duty tripod. As such, monopods are a must if you want that extra touch of support needed to nail a shot, especially at longer shutter speeds. And they're also ideal when you need to remain quick and reactive when setting up a composition. Together, these humble tools solve some notable problems, and they're a must in a new photographer's arsenal. But when it comes to monopods like tripods, there are several things to consider, and picking the right one will depend on your needs and the factors you find the most important. With that, we've compiled a detailed guide outlining the factors you'll want to consider beforehand, and we'll also cover the best monopods on the present market. Coming in number 5, Manfrotto's 290. Manfrotto's 290 brings simplicity to the table. The 290 uses a carbon fiber construction weighing only 1.1 pounds and supporting a maximum payload of 11 pounds. And it collapses to 19.3 inches and extends to 59.5 inches. While not the highest payload at this price point, it's well suited for most travel cameras and lens setups nonetheless. And instead, it's here ready to keep things light and mobile. Even so, it uses four section legs with magnesium flip locks for quick and easy setup or tear downs. It also offers an upper disc with an integrated 3 8 and quarter inch threads, ensuring maximum compatibility. Other bonuses include a wrist strap, a padded grip, and a rubber leg warmer. Overall, Manfrotto's 290 is an excellent choice for those wanting something nimble, discreet, and lightweight for traveling. Coming in at number four, iFootage's Cobra 2 iFootage's Cobra 2 is their award-winning release, boasting a modular design. The Cobra 2 uses a carbon fiber construction weighing just 2.75 pounds and supporting a maximum payload of 22 pounds, and it offers a compact design, collapsing to 27.7 inches and extending to 70.9 inches. But crucially, it boasts clever 3-in-1 functionality with a patented quick-release system. In this case, it offers a quick-release sleeve to attach fluid heads with a simple locking mechanism. There it doubles as a fixed video monopod, but you can even remove its stabilizing feet and use them as a standalone mini pod, perfect for low angle shots. The stabilizing feet are also adjustable with three settings, adding much needed versatility when shooting on uneven terrain. And it also has three section legs with flip locks for quick hassle free setups. Other bonuses include a carrying case. Overall, iFootage's Cobra 2 is an excellent option for those who want class leading functionality. Coming in number three, Benro's Adventure 4 series. Benro's Adventure 4 series is the perfect suit for those on the taller side wanting more reach. The Adventure 4 uses an aluminum frame weighing 1.8 pounds, but crucially this otherwise lightweight monopod can support a whopping maximum payload of 39.7 pounds, more than enough for the heaviest setups around. So no worries about overloading it with camera gear and accessories. It also boasts an outstanding range, collapsing to 21.3 inches, but extending to 75.2 inches. So no issues if you're on the taller side or you want a high angle shot. Otherwise, it uses five section legs with reinforced flip locks for quick, hassle-free one-handed setups. Other bonuses include a swiveling foot, optional stabilizing feet, and a three-year warranty. Overall, Benro's Adventure 4 series is an excellent choice for those on the taller side wanting more reach, and it's also a perfect option if you frequently travel with heavy setups. Coming in number two, Vanguard's Veo 2S. Vanguard's Veo 2S is their latest range, now with three legs. 
The 2S uses a lightweight carbon fiber frame that weighs 1.75 pounds, supporting a maximum payload of 13.2 pounds, and it uses four section legs with twist locks collapsing to 21 and a half inches and extending to 64 inches. Unlike most rivals though, it offers folding stabilizing feet, which unlock to follow moving action. And this configuration makes it ideally suited to sports, wildlife, and journalism applications. Sure, it adds minor bulk in the process, but the trade-off is welcome given the flexibility it offers. Other bonuses include a smartphone connector, a Bluetooth remote, a wrist strap, a rubber grip, and a carabiner clip to attach it to a belt. Overall, Vanguard's Veo 2S brings excellent stability and functionality for both photo and video. Coming in number one, Cyrui's P326. Cyrui's P326 is their best mid-range all-rounder. Not only is it extraordinarily lightweight at just 0.9 pounds, but it's also incredibly compact and robust. In this case, it uses six sections to collapse to a mere 15.6 inches, but extends to a whopping 61.4 inches. And it does so offering silicone twist locks with weather sealing to improve its durability. Yet its eight layer carbon fiber frame supports cameras up to 22 pounds, making it well suited for full frame DSLRs and long telephoto setups. It also features a reversible mounting screw supporting both quarter inch and three eighth inch sockets. So you can attach virtually any camera or tripod head. Other bonuses include a retractable steel spike, a foam grip, a wrist strap, a mini compass, and a carabiner. Overall, while Sairui's P326 lacks stabilizing feet, it's an excellent option for traveling photographers wanting something ultra lightweight and insanely durable. So there you have it, my friends. There's our list of the best monopods. For more information, check out our website, photographypx.com. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, Photography. <laughs>